You should do this section only after doing the section on simultaneity. Tanya and Gertrude argue into the night and cannot agree what is simultaneous and what is not. Maybe they can agree on the length of the carriages. It is hard to measure a moving object, especially if it is moving fast. If we put a light source at each end of a long object while it is still, then we can see both ends and measure it. Do you agree? When the two lightning bolts hit, the light has not yet reached the two women, so they have not yet seen the lightning. In this series, Gertrude measures the length, because in her frame, the two bolts hit simultaneously. But Tanya disagrees, because the two bolts did not hit simultaneously in her frame. Hence, in Tanya's frame, the train moved in the time between the two lightning strikes, and she concludes that Gertrude's length is, inco is incorrect. Step through this series to see this. Since Tanya is moving forward with the train, she catches up to the light coming from the front lightning strike, and therefore she sees the front bolt first. This is the series where the bolts are simultaneous for Tanya in her frame, but not in Gertrude's frame. Tanya then measures the length as L in her frame. But Gertrude disagrees, because the train moved in the time between the two strikes. Step through the series to see this. The light from the rear bolt reaches Gertrude, who sees it. This is what Gertrude sees when the light from the rear bolt reaches her. This is where the train really is when she sees the rear bolt hit. One consequence of special relativity is that an object is largest in its rest frame. Observers seeing an object move see it shorter in the direction of motion. This is length contraction.